Okay, it's now actually the following night. I, rather than just make a gasket and throw it back together, I decided to paint the clutch cover. And I think it looks a lot better. It's come up pretty good. Well, it does. It definitely looks a hell of a lot better than it did before. So now we've just got to make this gasket and get it back on there, which all I'm going to use is this manila folder. You can get proper gasket material, but I think this is going to do the job. It's a very thin, compressed cardboard, so it's it's pretty much a genuine gasket. Uh, unfortunately, you have got to actually cut it out. So what I'm going to do is try and peel this gasket off and see if it's in a good enough condition after pulling it off the clutch cover because it's stuck on very, very well. And to try and trace it, if that doesn't work, yeah, I'll try and maybe stick some oil on there or something and stick it down so it leaves an imprint and then just cut it out with some scissors. That should give us a gasket and it should be good enough to put the clutch, co clutch cover back on. So I'll get stuck into that. Okay, I've got the old gasket off. I've cleaned up both the clutch cover and the crankcase, get rid of all the old residue. The gasket did have to, well, it sort of come off in a thousand pieces, so I haven't got that to trace. So I'm just gonna use some um, WD-40. And I don't know if it's gonna work. It's gonna have to be pretty thick, but I don't want it to go everywhere. So I'm just gonna spray it on a rag and then wipe it around where the gasket goes. And then hopefully that'll leave a line, a mark out on the paper. No, it's not going to be I think. No, not really. You can kind of see the outline, but not enough. That's all right. I'll use some proper engine oil. Then I'll just run around with the pen as well. Hmm. Okay, it's a bit dry there, and a bit wet there, but we'll be able to make that work. So now it's just as easy as cutting that out. You can use scissors or a razor blade, and then you should have your gasket. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I've got the gasket all cut out, cleaned up this surface. So I'm just gonna put some sealant on those joins there and there, and probably around this little bung as well. Fortunately, our sealant's all dried up, so I've got a, in fact, I might grab a flat blade screwdriver to apply it with.
that's everything back together, obviously other than the fairing. But oil's back in the bike. It's at the right level in the window. Well, actually, it's a little bit high, but it should it'll get used up pretty quickly and get circulating through everything. The clutch feels fine. I have um, checked the free play and it feels pretty good. So it's pretty late, but I just want to make sure it is working properly and engaging properly before I put the fairings back on. So moment of truth. It's an old carby, so when it's cold, it's a bit rough. Just bear with me. That feels pretty good. Feels like a nice bite point. It's pretty, well, it's very progressive. You can slip it if you need to. So I think that'll be good. I think that'll be okay. I wasn't 100% sure about that clutch because those burn marks on those steel plates were pretty bad. Yeah, I thought they could have been toast, but I think they're gonna be okay. And the gasket, I hope that's gonna be okay as well. I'll let it sit overnight, but I think I will put the fairing back on and clean up. And then tomorrow morning, I'll take it for a ride and see if, um, see if it has fixed it. I'll see you on the bike. Oh, <sighs>